This week we take a look into the future on Boss Battle. Uh, welcome everybody Yay. to the Boss Battle number 83, a show in which the writers of Insert Coin to Begin get together and talk about video games. I'm your host Bobby hey, FJ Town, and joining us, what? Bobby, guess what? What? We're on iHeartRadio! Yeah! We are! So you can you add us there. Do it. You, you, you interrupted me, but, um, Sword. What did you what did you achieve in gaming? I spent some time in Grand Theft Auto, of course, uh, playing some threes, and uh, that's about it. Awesome, uh, Riz. What did you achieve in gaming this week? I downloaded an indie game on my Xbox. Okay. I don't know why. Would you like a medal? I no. <laughs> I want my dollar back. Oh, no. What was it? Oh, well, no, actually, I'm not going to say that because it was a dollar. And it, it is pretty good for a dollar. It's called ZDQ2 Ghost Dogs. <laughs> Why right. would you download something with a name like that? I don't that? know. <laughs> Why would you? They have trials. Riz, I, No. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what what ha- what made me want to buy this game. How, and and how kinda, is this an achievement in gaming? I don't, I don't, I. <laughs> I just wanted to try something. Riz, Riz, <laughs> yeah, we'll we're gonna spank you. Actually, ne- actually, next week I'm gonna try something a little different. Okay. Um, I have heard. Well, there there have been uh, rumors of Easter eggs in. Grand Theft Auto, not on the online mode. I checked that, no. um, but in the in the story mode, where you can actually go uh, see some UFOs. Oh yeah, I heard about that too. Awesome, Chachi. What did you achieve in gaming gaming this week? Um, I did some crazy taxiing. Uh, what I'm doing now. Um, we uh we launched Chachi Plays. Nice. Yay. Um. Um, I, I conquered the world with three tanks and a boat. Wow. Oh, yeah, that's I what was, also I did. I, I just conquered was, with the That escalated nation. quickly. Uh, that, was inc- that was incredible. Um, but that's about it. <coughs> awesome. Sorg. Um, Sorg. Sorg already went. Sorg isn't here. Go uh, on with the show. I, I on the other hand, uh, I purchased uh, the South Park, the Stick of Truth. And I will tell you guys about that in a little bit. Um, and I also uh, continued my reign of terror in The Simpsons, uh, tapped out. <laughs> so, and I and I got finally got the mini golf is that, course. Is that going to be your new Marvel Avengers line? I think I think it is. I think it is. I think it is. So now we have to do another PDA. Another yeah, before. another public service announcement for my PSA. Simpsons PDA, addiction. Public <laughs> affection. PSAs. Hey, I can play it now. I, I, I wasn't able to play it before on my phone, so that's an achievement in itself. All right, we're going to move on to our next topic, which is Around the Net with Chachi. Chachi, what do you have for us this week? We're video game things from around the internet. No, no, no. you got to introduce it right, or it just loses yeah, its flavor, Bobby. I, God, I'm not... Bobby, do it right. <laughs> this week, this week we got some gold. Um... All right, let's start with the runners-up. Um, a Kentucky man was busted for hiding and shipping guns around the world in hollowed-out Xboxes. He's going to do 22 years. <laughs> um, and uh, the other runner-up is, uh, you guys remember that uh, scene from Jurassic Park mm-hmm. where Samuel L. Jackson's trying to hack or trying to access Newman's computer, and it's like, ah, 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 he didn't Hold say the magic books. word. Well, the, over at uh, JurassicSystems.com, you can uh, try to get into Newman's computer. Um, like I'm we, not going to lie. Like we're calling I spent Newman. 45 minutes trying to get into Newman's computer. And did you get in? No. Uh, <laughs> so it's uh, it's you definitely worth a, a, a look. You did not. I like, how, I like how we're calling him uh, Newman and not Wayne Knight, the actor who played Newman. The one thing yeah. I want from this game, though, is when you get in, it, I want it to go, clever girl. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, the actual uh, 
the things that I put into the post over at insertcointobegin.com. Uh, first off, uh, a piano guy, along with some programmers, uh, set up a, uh, a thing called Six Pac-Man. Uh, now, what it is is six people sit down to play Pac-Man, all with different goals. And as they accomplish the goals, it unlocks a piece of music uh, that it will play while they play. Huh. Um, if they die, uh, that their part of the music stops, and you can completely notice that it happened. Um, but as long as they keep accomplishing their goals, uh, the piece will move on to the next piece, and it ends up in this beautiful co piano comp oh, excuse me composition. Um, so uh, check that out. Uh, next up, uh, Jamers t Jamers Ten channel on YouTube did an awesome animated video. It's about four minutes long and it's, it sums up everyone's experience in GTA five online. Um, it, in one of the scenes as just an example, it's a, uh, a guy sitting in a brand new car that he just bought. Um, <laughs> and another player sees that he just bought this car and his finger is hovering above the C4 button. And the guy <laughs> the guy just goes into this, like, uh, long-ass diatribe about why he shouldn't blow up the car, only to have the car blown up. <laughs> and last but not least, uh, Beast, it's Beast Comedy on YouTube, um, did a live-action... Uh, video in which they take a look of what they imagine uh, the room was like when they created Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> um, the video is called Mr. Needle Mouse. And it is hilarious. It, it, it's like they have uh, the basis of the video is they've spent all night trying to come up with a uh, character. Um, the best that they did uh, were Spanish plumbers. And they decided that that wasn't good enough. And so uh, at the last minute, they came up with this uh, genius idea of an animal that runs fast and wears uh, Michael Jackson's shoes. <laughs> um, and like these are all uh, embedded in the, uh, the video game things from around the Internet posts over at insertcointobegin.com. All right. Uh, we're going to move on to our next segment, which is things you should be made aware of, which is our news segment. Um, not really news to start it off with. Um, South Park, The Stick of Truth came out on uh, Tuesday, last Tuesday. Um, a lot of people are loving the game. I, I for one, um, I, I, I bought it. Um, I'm about six hours into the game. Um, but if you go to insertcointobegin.com, a uh, friend of the show, Rick Haynes, Haynesy, yeah. Is that how you say his last name? Yes. Uh, he, he did a guest review for us because he finished the game. Um, I'm going to give my take on the game. Um, I think it's great. Um, there, if, if you love South Park, there are a ton, a ton, ton, ton of references to the show and the, the, the history of the show. Um, the, it's, it's, it's amazing. Um, the gameplay, it's, it's okay. It's like an RPG um, like I said, I'm about six hours into it. I'm, I've encountered aliens. I've fought hobos. Uh, I fought a dog. <laughs> um, d just amazing. Um, I, I've and, and the the purpose of the game is to go around and get friend requests from the towns townspeople. Um, and and your menu looks like Facebook, and they they actually call it Facebook, which is amazing. I don't know how they get away with that, um, but. Those guys are geniuses, whatever they do, um, and, and, and I, I highly recommend it. Um, do you guys plan on uh, getting the game? Uh, the reason I actually had this discussion offline, mm -hmm. um, at $60, no. Yeah, I Absolutely it, I not. I don't want to spend $60 for anything with South Park attached to it. I mean, it, it I, could be the best game ever made mm -hmm. in the history of mankind. But still, it's South Park. It's the yeah. same guys who brought us, you know, what was it, Chef's Love Shack or whatever the hell that was called. <laughs> that was or terrible. what was it called? That, that was terrible. Yeah, that was horrible. The I'm not the, sure if I'm legally game. allowed to, uh, to talk about South Park anymore. 
Um, yeah, I, I'm not sure if their executives like me. So no, yeah, because <laughs> you kind of um, ask yeah. them pl- plain, plain and simple if their game is going to suck. Yeah, <laughs> and that was for uh, Scott Tenderman's revenge. So oh, yeah. and it did. <laughs> Oh yeah, and by the way, it did. which was awful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I mean, uh, so why would we you pay can't you can't blame me for not that. wanting to run out and pick up a South Park game immediately. But, but um, this this one's a little different. It's it's by a different studio and everything like that. And I think they actually put their hearts and souls into this game. Um, it feels like a <laughs> no, movie. they didn't. It feels like a South Park movie. It, it I'm serious. It feels like a South Park movie. Um. There's a little bit of glitchy frame rate issues, like I noticed, but it, that kind of stuff, they'll fix it with a patch or something like that. But yeah, it's 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 great. So. All right, uh, we're going to move on. Um, the writer for the Uncharted series, um, her name is Amy Henning. Uh, she actually was ousted by uh, reportedly ousted by um, Neil Druckmann and Bruce St- uh, Straley. Uh, these guys are the guys that created the Last of Us games. Um, and I, there's conflicting reports whether she was forced out or not. But um, Naughty Dog said that this isn't going to affect uh, the the uh, PS4 Uncharted game that's coming out. Um, I'm thinking they already have the story pretty much done for that. Uh, and they're probably already working on the game itself. Um, so this might affect future games for uh, Naughty Dog. Um, I know you guys don't really play a lot of uh, PlayStation games, but uh, Uncharted is a pretty big franchise, and for this to happen, it's kind of it's kind of bad for the franchise. What do you guys think? Well, you know, if you have a successful franchise, mm-hmm. maybe the thing that you shouldn't be doing is getting rid of the people that are responsible for that franchise. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm not a business major um, by any means, but that just seems like bad, bad, bad business. I mean, I mean, the, the Uncharted se- series, if you put it in a nutshell, is kind of like the Indiana Jones of video games. Um, I think it is. I played... Most of the first one, um, I have the second and third one. haven't got to them yet. I plan to. I really want to. Um, I just haven't had time. But, yeah, really, really successful franchise, too. So What we'll is it with like Naughty this. Dog either losing people or just being dicks? They're, well, this is I their mean, first time they really had any controversy, I think. Lately, the, the guy, anyways. The, if I'm not mistaken, wasn't the guy – I forget which company he owned, but didn't the guy come from Naughty Dog and then tore that – I think it was THQ. He, he, came from T, he came to THQ uh-huh. and burned that place to the ground almost. <laughs> so, and then, I, I don't know. I, I bet it was sexual harassment. Probably. Probably a little touching. Who knows? Yeah, it's, it's, I, I think there's a little uh, grab ass going on, and uh, and they were all. She was like, "I'm not taking this anymore. I'll see you in court." And they're like, "Ha You can't sue. It's written right here in this stupid ass contract you signed. Thanks for the games." Hence the studio name, Naughty Dog. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, on on the heels of that, though, um, they announced that that um, the Last of Us is actually going to come out with a movie. Uh, based on the game, so that that'll be something to look forward to. And and I think if those guys take over the, the Uncharted franchise, I don't think much is going to change story wise. I think Naughty Dog has their crap together when when it comes to storylines, but we'll see, we'll see. Now, do you think for the movie, does Ellen Page get the part? No. <laughs> okay. I somehow doubt it because of what happened with her. <laughs> what happened with Ellen Page? She pretty much. Threatened to sue them because they used her likeness and they had to change the character at the last minute. Well, so that's what happened. I and thought you were talking that, about the whole lesbian thing. No, no, no. That's why. That's why I don't think she's going to be attached to that movie just because of that whole controversy with her. And being, she's also the, the face of the around. game. And then like, I, I wasn't in this game. I'm in this other game, Beyond Two Souls. So, all right, uh, Riz. I think you have our next story: mobile games on Twitch and why that makes you angry. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> I don't, I, I, I don't get it. 
I really don't. And I, there I is. made my big diatribe on insert coin to begin. Not now, but um, I made this big diatribe about it. And then I feel like people are not going to watch other people play Candy Crush. I know it's an addicting game, and no people want to play it, but that nobody's going to take the time to go, oh, I want to watch people play Candy Crush. I have or, never played Candy Crush, and I never plan to. Or, it, 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 I just don't get what the, the thrill of watching people play mobile gaming is. How, how is that thrilling to watch? You guys want to watch me play the Marvel Alliance? Because what if you guys get a phone call in the middle of the game? You're screwed, aren't you? And what what if what if oh I don't know an angry lady texts you on the phone, asking you where you've been? Why have you, did you why haven't you texted me? Why haven't you done this? Why haven't you done that? That's kind of annoying too, isn't it? Well, so why right, is, here? Here's why you're wrong. Why am I wrong, Chargers? I, how many times have you reviewed a mobile game? True. None. It, all this does is make it – is enhance your reviews. Secondly, you can turn off notifications. Mm -hmm. um, so that angry lady's text messages, uh, while you may still get them – They will have to wait won't show up. I also hope okay. that part of the protocol that this is included in will not just do a screen capture. It will just be the game area. Mm -hmm. So well, I, I, I think there's going to be a protection against that. Okay, then what if you're playing like words with friends with somebody? I I don't think I, 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 I don't think this is going to be. Have they said the types of games this is going to be included with yet? Is there any mention? Or are we just presuming they're going to be words with friends and Candy Crush? I think just I'm presuming. just presuming the fact. I and that's the thing, and I and, and I responded in comments to this where you know there are a lot more games. There is Call of Duty on this thing. Mm -hmm. There's a lot yeah, more. But you know where you I play mean, Call of Duty as well on Steam, yeah, on Xbox, on and, but some yeah, people, but no some people like this on version. The mobile devices. And you know what else? Like Infinity Blade, you can't get that anywhere else other than iOS. Yeah, you know, exactly. There are there is played. a level of hard, hard hardcore games of mm -hmm. watchable games. It's not all just gems, okay? I, I and and even so, even if it, that is what is going to be attached to this, do not underestimate what people will watch. Well, will soon. you watch Bejeweled stream? I, I really think I is there a well, Peggle stream? You, you know what? Stream. I'm going to go to Twitch.com. Uh, was it Twitch.tv? Hold on a second. Twitch. So you watch the? You're not answering the question, sorry. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I would watch Will the Will you Blitz. watch the stream? If there is a Peggle stream on Twitch TV, your your uh, 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 argument is invalid. There's probably a Peggle <laughs> oh man, Sorg is laying be. down the hammer because Peggle <laughs> is are, like. Just two steps above. Yeah, you. Oh my money. God! Peggle is all over. <laughs> the Peggle is all over it. There's people with Peggle names. There's people playing Peggle. Riz. It will Maybe. be successful because people are addicted to it. And no, you won't watch it. But to be fair, most of the people that I know that talk about Twitch TV and watching other play people video, watching other people play video games, have no idea why other people are watching people play video games. This is a phenomenon that nobody talking about it really understands, and you will now be included with the Candy Crush streams. Do you know? Do you know what? Do you know what people do in in, in uh, Peggle? You aim and hit a button. And that you let it go. Here, want me That's to show you on a live stream? Play some balloons, everybody. Riz, what you basically do. I'm Talk. telling you now. As soon as the Twitch mobile streaming is available, if I load a game on my phone, you can bet your sweet ass that I'll be broadcasting it on Twitch. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna be streaming so much numbers, or I'm sorry, threes. You're gonna get right. your threes. I, I mean, you're gonna get your Angry Birds from me. You're gonna get your what the hell's help my play? What you're gonna you're gonna play Flappy Bird too? Gonna Flappy, yeah, you'll Bird. Get Flappy Bird. Flappy Bird. You'll get my Plants vs Zombies. You'll get Candy Crush. I will bring you the Angry Birds. I will. It'll be on. We got some breaking all on Twitch. We got we got some breaking dong news today. 
Breaking Dawn oh, no. news. The Dawn, Dawn has so broken. Bad. Dawn that might be so bringing bad. Happy Bird back, but with a warning before the game that it's addictive. <laughs> he said what? he would possibly bring it back, but he'd put a, a, a precursor before it that says this game is addictive and you shouldn't download it unless you have a dic- an addictive personality. What? Yeah. So there was that don- breaking dong news. I have I have so much anger for that one, but I'm the you, you guys fucking peggle. <laughs> all right, it's gonna be all of Flappy Bird on Twitch, man. <laughs> yeah, that's probably Flappy what it's all gonna be. It's probably gonna, all gonna be just people playing Flappy Bird and the their predecessors that come after it. There's gonna be so much Flappy Bird on there. It's gonna, gonna be pornography. There's gonna be Flippy Bird. There's gonna be Splashy Bird. There's gonna be all all kinds Flappy of Bird. Flappy Bird. <laughs> Enjoy your right. mobile gaming on are, Twitch. Are you guys? Are you guys? Are you guys ready to move into the future? <sighs> Sorg, tell us about the future of games with Google the Glass. The future of games. I already told you about the future of games with Google Glass. I finally typed up the future of gaming in in Google Glass. No, I gave my uh, promised but much delayed review, first impressions of these, you know, pretty much glorified tech demos of uh, Google Glass I demonstrated several weeks ago on this show, uh, including a link to the video, in case you missed it before, of uh, kind of showing off uh, uh, that from this episode. so, and, and in general, like, it, it feels like, and I went into a little bit of comparisons of this versus um, the Wii, because I feel like the Wii was kind of a change, uh, and obviously it's kind of fell flat since, but it's been, it was kind of a change of how we game, you know, actually getting people to do motion, now it's kind of, you know, uh, uh, moved into the Kinect and, and all these these these. Uh, fitness games. I mean, God, I have an Echo, uh, uh, yeah, an Echo, an uncle that uh, lost all this weight from playing like Wii Fit and jogging, basically. So, um, so it works. It is worked with people. Well, so, yeah, when when the Wii came out, it was like the future of gaming. Pretty exactly. Much. So this is the new future of gaming, just to piss Chachi off. Um, and and I kind of make that most of that comparison to it. Like this is the thing that's got me about as excited as what made me get in line like a month into the Wii launch overnight to try to get one. <laughs> so you were in line for a month? No, 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 no. <laughs> a month after it launched, I still had to stand in line overnight at a GameStop. Wow. That's how hot it was at the time. And what was that, 2007? Yeah. Something like that? Wow. Can't I believe that. I remember that, that E3, up, like how hyped I was for after the Google E3. Glass goes on Twitch. Google Glass on Twitch, you're going to see me balancing and saying bang and shooting clay pigeons. And this, of course, parlays into uh, the boss battle question. The boss battle question this week is what do you guys think is the future of video games? And to this, I think, I think, like, uh, when you guys answer this, you say, like, what of these technologies that are kind of bubbling? We, I mean, we got Google Glass, we got Oculus Rift, we mm-hmm. got Connect, and, and improvements on Connect that I think we've barely seen what it can do uh, since we're just in the first generation Xbox One. And really, Titanfall is the first thing to even let us know we're in a new console generation, I feel like. Um, so, so, as far as, like, obviously, I think... Um, I think something like... Uh, I think the Oculus Rift is going to change things. Mm. I think that's going to be a consumer device sooner than something like a Google Definitely. Glass kind of thing is. Um, I, I think, I, I, although I really love the idea, like, I, Chachi is getting warm. I think I'm going to play some Ingress and walk around my neighborhood a little bit with my tablet. Um, I would really, could you imagine Ingress on Google Glass? It, it, the fact that they haven't done it yet is amazing. You know they're working because on it. That's a Google because- company. Right, it, Google uh, Ingress needs a platform like Google Glass. As much it. as I hate to say that Google Glass is good for gaming, mm-hmm. uh, if for something like Ingress, it is. For things where you have to bounce around in your living room or at the bus stop because you're playing, you're stupid enough to play Google Glass games at the bus stop. Yeah, no, that's the biggest yeah. thing. It doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't work mobile in that fashion. But uh, I yeah, stuff like standing. Ingress, yes, because that has so many more applications. I, I mean, you could take Risk 
and use that with Google Glass and implement that to things that you're walking around. Uh, so, I mean, uh, those types of games, yes, perfect for Google Glass. However, that's not the future of Google Glass. No. no. Or not, not the future of gaming by any means. Uh, if anything, I think it's going to be a combination of um, the high-intensity graphics of the – or not the graphics, but the, the, the gameplay of the Xbox One uh, controller-wise uh, mixed with the Oculus Rift. Okay. Um, I don't think – as much as people want to think it's going to happen, uh, <coughs> the, the common uh, belief that virtual reality is going to be done in a – uh, like a, a barricaded off circle and you're wearing a mask and gloves, mm-hmm. um, that's not going to be. I, I don't think that's going to happen. I, people just Sega. won't dedicate that much space um, to gaming. <laughs> uh, I, so I think the Oculus Rift and uh, a controller is pretty much where the future of gaming is heading, honestly. Like I said, the uh, Sega egg actuator. <laughs> right, yeah, and that's, that, that was a horrible idea. It's not it going to happen. It was. But all of these are um, shots. All of these are experiments in the long run. And we're all kind of beta testing these things. And and now you're seeing the Oculus Rift is coming around. That John Carmack has left id Software, again, I think speaks volumes at how much of a reality Oculus might be here. Um And, and somebody is going to well, hit I mean, the sweet spot. Somebody's going to be only... the apple of this thing and do it the right way. Mm-hmm. Not only uh, the guy from id, but the virtual reality specialist at Steam mm-hmm. left to go to Oculus Rift. Mm-hmm. Um, Oculus Rift, as, as much as uh, people want to laugh about it, Oculus Rift will be the Apple company that does it right. Mm-hmm. Because, first off, it, it, they were there first. Mm-hmm. There's enough innovators at the company that, you know, they're going to do something right. And and normally being there first doesn't necessarily mean jack um, in technology. However, if you're there first and you're able to sign major players much like the Yankees, good things are going to happen. Like, if you can go out and get all of these all-star players from other companies, then whatever you want to happen is going to happen. Mm-hmm. And and that's the strategy that Oculus Rift has taken. Not only that, but, I, I mean, look at the examples that are being put out already. So, I, I, I mean, it's just a matter of time before that device is working beyond belief and in our hands. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can play as Link in Ocarina of Time. Mm-hmm. That, that, that was that that video looked absolutely brilliant. Just, just going yeah, around yeah. the forest and like doing stuff as Link would be awesome. You have to go. Ah, ah. Yep. I, I think I think uh, as far as graphics go, I think eventually video game companies are going to be able to use satellites and map the earth and we'll be able to play grand theft auto earth but we're gonna have to call the earth something else (laughs) like (laughs) new plutonia or something i don't know New Moon. we can't call it earth gta new moon yeah but i I think that's i I think that's where we're headed graphically and how big games are gonna get Uh. maybe not on that well Maybe I don't know. Uh, In the very, very far future, probably. Like if Google made a game like that, mm-hmm. then yes. Google, Maps. Google Earth or something like that. Google that made a cool. game like that. It's called Google Maps. It, it is. <laughs> I play Google that Maps shit all you. the time. And now they lay it. And now they layered uh, ingress over top of it. Is this the video? Mm-hmm. I got a video of. Uh, it looks like. An, actually, this looks like the original Zelda. 
applied. Oh yeah, it was the original Zelda. That's game. amazing. Oh wow. <laughs> I would play that. Exactly. Play the, the Oculus Rift that. is there. But I feel like something as simple as this, like you can even pour it over the glass. I know it's a different experience. Absolutely, it's going to be a different experience. But again, I go uh, and I and I agree completely with you on the Oculus being the, I want to say the hardcore mainstream future of gaming, like that next step. Um, I think that something like a Google Glass thing will be um, kind of a divergent, kind of like we have touch games, we have gyroscopic games in our in our phones, the way that's kind of changed gaming on that level, obviously not hardcore, but more, um, 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 you know, more general, more, more, more casual, right? Mm-hmm. I think as devices like the Google Glass happens, and maybe this applies to your watch, you know, your Pebble Watch kind of situation mm-hmm. too. I, you're going to find, I mean, eventually you're going to be gaming on a Pebble Watch or Google yeah. Watch or whatever it's going to be called. And what's that going to look like? I think this is another diversion of that with the Google Glass kind of concept. And uh, I think like gyroscopes and touch has changed gaming on your phones and tablets. And now, you know, carrying over to your Nintendo DSs, um, this augmented, you know, uh, permanent heads up display location tracking thing is going to be like this kind of other divergent you know in the in the vein of ingress i think so mm-hmm. um definitely not a hardcore future gaming i i think it's a a sliver of the future of gaming um when yeah. it comes to things mm-hmm. and i was going to say something along those lines like I, like you said the oculus oculus thrift is the hardcore gaming mecca right now yeah yeah like you can't you can't tell me one other product that is going to be gangbusters when it comes out for the high price. But for, for the, everything that you see with, you know, uh, uh, steam box and what the rumors are about, uh, the Xbox one going completely, uh, cartridge or discless, and going straight hard drive, that might be the future that we have to look at. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That might be the that. future that we have to really take a close look at. Because if we if that comes, that takes away profit from uh, GameStop. Mm-hmm. It takes away profit from the exchange and all those little other stores in you know in that mecca uh, well, in that area can i can i can i point out and on awesome cast sure. tonight uh chilla has said and maybe we were talking about this before the show um he has purchased every game for his xbox one digitally he has not bought a disc yeah. yet um i'm buying less of them <laughs> yeah i'm i don't know how many i've downloaded so far i'm going to download more on my 360 mm-hmm because who knows what's going to happen. Dude, I'm getting that Steam effect, too. I, I ain't even yeah, brought it, up. I bought an indie game, Brothers, a couple weeks ago. Because it was like I four it, bucks. I bought an indie game, Sorg. You bought an indie game. I you bought an indie game. It, it, it's, I don't know it's why. It up. just happened to appear. It was a dollar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was a dollar. Dude, was a dollar. this game was like three bucks. And I had like four in my account when they cashed out all my Microsoft points. I didn't even know I had Microsoft <laughs> points in there. <laughs> The it was indie nuts. game scene is the Dollar General of video games. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but hold on, Riz. Riz uh, I think um, you went to you went to the Dollar Tree. <laughs> uh, Josh, Dollar Tree. Okay. Yes. Here's a list of the games I've bought in the past uh, two months. I just saw Chachi says go went online. Uh, World of Tanks. Yes. Uh, Assassin's Creed Revelations. Online. Uh, mm-hmm. NHL 14. Online. Civilization Revolution, Crazy Sweet. Taxi, um, Need for Speed Carbon. Those are the games I bought in the past two months. Guess how many I bought in store? <clears throat> how many? Two of those. One. Zero. Zero. Oh. Wow. Mm-hmm. And that was Zero. what? Seven games? It's too easy, man. It's too easy. Yeah. It's, it's just like. It, it, it's you don't also have to move anymore. Yeah, it's also just like uh, you know we were talking again about movies. It's like, well, yeah, I just went ahead and did the digital release and and watched the new Hunger Games movie just because it was there. It's I can't take sick days because of how easy it is to buy movies. By the way, Dragon Ball Z, the entire first season is free on Xbox yeah, Live. I don't know I if it still that. is, but it mm-hmm. I got it for free. I uh, the last time I was sick and took a day off work. 
I bought three movies before I was even supposed to be at work. <laughs> that's a problem. <laughs> that's it a, is that's a, a little bit of a problem. <laughs> uh, it, it's, it, I don't need to go to a store anymore. I had a discussion Whoa. at work, all right? When my girlfriend gets her degree and becomes super rich and I don't need to work anymore, <laughs> that'll probably be the last time I leave the house. <laughs> I'll stock up once, and then when I get within running out of a supply of something within two days, Amazon Prime. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, since that's the future of your life, we're going to end it there. Um, <laughs> you can uh, follow us on InsertCoin to begin dot or uh, InsertCoin TV on Twitter. Um, you can go to the website and at in or InsertCoin to begin dot com. Uh, the article is going up daily. Um, you can go to chachiplays.net. Yes, what is please, it, Chachi? please help us at chachiplays.com. .com, we set, okay. it, it set our highest goal ever. Um, against the wishes of other people in the team, I went ahead and set the goal. <laughs> it's there. It's $7,500. I would really like to raise this. Uh, the money goes to uh, Toonsium, which uh, – is one of three cartoon museums in the country. And it's amazing. And it is amazing. And what they do with the money is they provide outreach programs uh, to underprivileged children. Um, the, the, per, the, the shops are run by the director, uh, Joe Wos, and it, it basically they need supplies and uh, – the money to run this program. Uh, the other half of the money is going to dreams of hope, which is a, let's see if I can do this. I, I've been working on it. Lesbian, <clears throat> gay, transsexual, queer, bisexual organization that also provides arts uh, for underprivileged kids that help them deal uh, with the social pressures of being uh, how they are. Awesome. And you can donate on Chachi says dot Cool. No, Chachi plays. Chachi plays. Oh, sorry, Chachi. <laughs> All right, uh, that's gonna do it for us. Game over, guys.